Hey guys, well in this week's video we're going to get started on our enclosure and before we can start actually building up the frame of the enclosure we need to raise the bed of the laser up above the sidewalls here. Uh, this will give me clearance for the fourth axis so that I can hang it off the side as well as uh, get it up higher off and so I don't have to reach down inside the tray. So what we're going to do is we're going to be 3D printing some of these stands off or legs. Now I just printed these out of PLA and I'm going to reuse the same mounting bolt the rubber feet were mounted with. I also added a piece of neoprene to the bottom of the legs just to, so it won't slide around. So let's go into Fusion 360 and I'll go over how we drew this up and we'll get this 3D printed. Now this one wasn't a very good print. It's kind of hollow and separated so I had to redesign this slightly but I'll show you what we ended up with for our final model in Fusion 360. Hey guys, well today we're in Fusion 360 and we're going to be drawing these risers for my Monport 20 watt fiber laser. Now these are just uh, short legs here to get this laser so that it clears the cart tray so it's pretty straightforward um let's take a look at the overall design here now you can see that we have a hole here in the top this is for our four millimeter screw and then we have this recess here in the bottom uh, and this is so that we can of course screw this on um i tried to keep the dimensions in here the same so that I could take the little rubber feet off, use the same screw, and just screw on my riser. Alright, so let's go up here and we're going to start File, New Design. Uh, let's save this to Laser Riser Video. Save this in our laser stuff. Uh, the first thing we'll do is we're going to create a sketch. We're going to select this bottom plane here uh, we're going to create a square a rectangle and I'm going to do a center rectangle I like using that function it just kind of keeps everything uh, centered and we're going to go 38 tab 38 millimeters okay we're going to hit C for circle this is a 4.2 diameter circle that's for our through hole. We'll hit C again. And our bigger circle here for our recess is 16 millimeters. Hit enter. And then from the center out is 19. That's good. What we're going to do here is we're just going to hit line. We're going to come out 2 millimeters. Going to come down here. Hit escape line again come down two millimeters and connect these two like so hit T for trim we'll trim this up then we're gonna round over this corner here and this one as well and we're gonna do five millimeter radius like so that's pretty much all the dimensions we need uh, the hole that bolts on the feet is 19 millimeters from the corner here and then we're going to have this portion here for our little bit of a recess all right we're going to finish the sketch and then next we're going to extrude so we're going to extrude this this and this we're going to raise this up we're going to raise this up 85 millimeters and that'll give us the height we need to clear the side of the tray we're going to go in from the top here Turn our sketch back on. We're going to extrude this center portion here. We're going to do a start from an offset. We're going to offset this 80 millimeters. And then we're going to raise it up 5 millimeters to the top there. We're going to join that. Now you can see we have that recess. And then last, we're going to extrude this portion here on the edge. We're going to cut this out. And this is going to be 20 millimeters. We'll make it 21. 
just to make sure we got clearance for our extrusion. And there we have it. Uh, pretty simple, straightforward riser for the Monport 20 watt laser. Now to 3D print these, I did print it with a 0.2 millimeter layer height. I printed it with a PLA plus and I printed it with a 40% infill. And that gave me the strength that I needed for this. And uh, we'll need four of these. Well, that wraps up the Monport 20 watt fiber laser leg extensions. Just export this to your favorite slicer. I've been using Idea Maker here lately. Seems to be working really well. Uh, just click on your model here and then you can click OK and we'll export this out. And here we are in Idea Maker. Uh, we're going to print this upside down with the top being on the bottom. So we're going to rotate this 180 like so. And that'll print just fine, just like that. So to slice it, uh, I'm going to be using uh, PLA Plus for this. Uh, let's take a look at uh, the settings I have here. Uh, we have a 0.2 millimeter layer height, uh, two shells, our infill. You can go with a 40% infill here. I think that'll be strong enough. We don't really need any supports. Um, we're going to do a brim. I always like to do just a brim. I'm printing it uh, with a bed temperature of 60 degrees celsius and 195 for my nozzle now i have an e3d nozzle and it tends to run about uh 10 to 12 degrees hotter than what i actually program it so uh this is actually around uh 205 something like that uh, fairly uh, reasonable speeds uh, nothing really crazy uh and that's just about it we'll slice this Let's take a look at the preview. Check these uh, infills, see how that looks. Yeah, that looks that looks dense enough for the infill. And that's going to give you a really strong uh, leg. Alright guys, well thanks for watching the video. If you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in, you can click on that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner. Also, click on that notification bell. That way, when I post a video like this one, if it's something you're interested in, they'll send you a link and you can stop by and check it out. As always, guys, please feel free to ask questions, make suggestions, and leave comments. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and most importantly, be safe.